Hi, this is Harry Guinness for Tuts Plus. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you what Finder replacements can add to your workflow. This screencast will serve as an introduction to the post below where I'll just show you what these Finder replacements can do. In the tutorial, I'm going to be discussing Extra Finder, Total Finder, and Path Finder. In this screencast, I'm using Total Finder. Total Finder and Extra Finder are essentially the same with a few minor differences, whereas Pathfinder is a completely different application. One of Total Finder's best features is the visor. You can set a keyboard shortcut to have a pop-up Finder window. For me, that shortcut is Option Space, so if I just hit Option Space, a Finder window slides in from the bottom. This is really great when you want quick access to your files. For me, when I'm designing something in Photoshop or Illustrator, I can have the folder that I'm using for source files open in my visor, open it up, drag and drop the files into Photoshop or Illustrator, and then just dismiss the visor with the same keyboard shortcut, Option Space. I'm going to bring that back up now and show you another great feature, which is dual panes. If I use Command T to create a new tab, and then double click on the tab bar there, it merges with the previous tabs that are side by side with two separate sidebars. This makes it really easy for dragging files across. So if I go into the desktop here and grab these screenshot files, I can just drag them right across to the desktop and you'll see they appear up there. You can drag them back. This makes it super easy for moving files from your downloads folder to anywhere else or from your documents folder to a specific folder, anything like that. Another great tweak, which I'll just highlight here, is that you can see the folder here called Folder is on top of all the files. By default, OS X sorts everything alphabetically, so Folder would normally be third or fourth down here. Instead, it's right up the top, which makes it really easy to dig deep into your folder structures. So this is just a quick overview of a few of the things you can do with Total Finder or Extra Finder. In the rest of the tutorial below, I'm going to be showing you how to set everything up so you can do what I've just done.